So if you're looking for a bike, a starter bike or something that's not going to kill you, this 2017 KTM 390 might be the one for you because that's what's in the garage next. So we came across this 2017 KTM RC 390 and I had to do some research because I don't know a whole lot about motorcycles but I'm finding out a whole lot more every day. But first, this is the Bayou Garage where some average Cajuns take a look at anything with motors, check them out, walk around, look at them, ride them, go on adventures. If that sounds like something you like, why don't you smash that subscribe button, stick with us and see what's in the garage next. So I started doing a little bit of research on this bike and you know what, we've come up with these stats. It's 43.5 horsepower, 43 horsepower. Now, really, it's not horsepower, but I had to look up what PS was because these guys are actually rated in a German word. And I'm gonna attempt to say it right here. So it's Furfenstärken. Fiederstärke. So Furfenstärken is German for <laughs> horsepower and I'm probably not saying that right, but close enough. Here's the actual pronunciation. Fiederstärke. Yeah, Cajuns don't speak German. It's the German word for horsepower, so therefore, yes, 43 horsepower, about 35 foot-pounds of torque, which then they're rating that in Newton meters, I found out. So if you ever wondered why it says a number in PS and then a number in NM, that would be Newton meters and the German word for horsepower. So there you go, we learned something new today. Now, do I like the flashy colors? Yes, I do. If you're gonna have a bike like this, it's supposed to be kind of flashy, it's supposed to be interesting, it's supposed to catch your eyes and say BAM! Now, when I look back at the 16s and 15s of this same particular bike, they have upgraded a lot in 2017. Now starting off at around a $5,000 bike to buy brand new, coming in used at around $4,000. This one, exact one, has about 1,100 miles on it. It does have a bigger front brake, better piston on the front brake for stopping power because I found out really quickly that the older bikes, that was a huge complaint. Now with 43 horsepower, doesn't sound like a lot to most of our gearhead guys, but on a bike and in this category of bikes, I'm finding out that it's pretty high up there. We do have a 250 Suzuki and this one dominates it. A 250 Suzuki works out to be about, oh, 20, 22 horsepower. So this is almost double the horsepower in such a small bike for such a small price bracket. I don't know how you can complain. Now a new update for this bike also is they've added ride by wire, which now no longer is your throttle hooked up to a cable that runs to the throttle body it is now done all electronically so a sensor in the ecu uh, the computer on the thing reads what your throttle is tells the actual throttle body that controls the transmission in the engine to tell it what to do and bam you're off and running but i find it compared to all the other bikes i've ridden not very violent not very torquey not very junky or lurchy I find it pretty steady. Once you kind of figure out, it only took me about two laps around before I kind of figured out where that position was. And once you find that happy position, you can nicely control the throttle, get into it, control the bike. It never feels overpowering. It's kind of a smaller bike, but it still gets up and goes. So for a smaller bike, it's plenty enough power to get you where you're going and you can really enjoy the ride. You can really learn to ride a bike, never feeling ashamed because it is quick but also never feeling overpowered and you can control the bike. I like that about a bike. So you tell us in the comment section below what you think of this bike, what other bikes in this category you like and what other bikes out there that you dream of because we want to know about it. And if you have a bike out there that you want to have on an episode of the Bayou Garage, why don't you comment in the comment section below, email us over at Bayou Garage or Motor City, talk to me Jeff, and we will get you on an episode because we always want to know what's in your garage. And if I can get that guy out the way, I'd like to tell you that if I had to buy a new bike and I wanted something just to tool around town and have some fun and cut up with, 